All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today we're talking about planting fig trees, but we're not gonna demonstrate the actual planting methods that I use. Uh, I think they're pretty straightforward. We've covered them in other videos and I don't have time to cover that today. But we are gonna talk about a really important technique that I like to use when I plant every single fig tree that I plant, which is I love to cut them really far back, either before I plant them and allow them to regrow and start putting out new shoots in preparation for planting, or I'll cut them after I plant. And what that does is it really encourages these young trees I have planted here on the east side of my property. This is where all the younger trees have been, been going in recently. I really like to encourage them to put out all that new healthy growth. And by cutting them really far back, we change hormones in our trees. When we cut them heavily in the winter time, it responds by growing very vigorously the following year. So if I know that I'm gonna put a fig tree in the ground, either in the spring or in the fall, I will prematurely during dormancy cut them really far back, uh, use those cuttings for propagating or selling or trading. And then of course I will have it ready right then and there as soon as the tree wakes up to start putting out a lot of new, new growth down there at the base. And what this does is you can see with some of these younger trees, is they really get established, I think, a lot quicker. We, want, we don't really want them to fruit once we plant these young fig trees. I mean, it's, it's a nice bonus, but certainly if we could just get them to be healthy and vigorous, that's the name of the game. I think this tree really has done that well. This growth looks pristine. And the more it grows, the better off it's gonna be this year. That's my, that's my advice. I know some of you guys are impatient uh, you just, you're starting with fruit trees. Figs can fruit very early and at very young ages, but trust me, take the advice I just gave you guys and run with that. Now there is another option. And I'll say that this option I think is slightly better, but it's for people who are more patient and want the best fig tree possible. So after we cut the tree back in the first year before planting or after planting, we let the tree grow for the remainder of the season. We don't touch it, just leave it alone. And then at the end of the season, when the tree is dormant, we cut the tree back again, very, very far, all the way down to about six inches, just like we did originally after planting it, anywhere from six to 12 inches. What that's gonna do is that's gonna encourage the tree next year to be very vigorous again and grow even higher heights and put out even more vigor. And that's exactly what has happened right here with the tree that I have. And I've done this really for seasons, actually, inadvertently. Um, I've done this on like a hundred fig trees for many years and didn't realize what I was doing uh, at the time. But this is a tree here called Vagabond. Look how pristine the leaves look on this. Look how healthy and vigorous this new growth is. We also have some more suckers down there coming from the base. And that's that's what we want. We want this tree to really start putting out a ton of growth. Now this main shoot here is gonna probably grow this season to six, seven or eight feet. The younger shoots down there, the suckers will be about, about three, four or five feet by the end, of the, end of the end of the growing season, excuse me. And that's what we want. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll, we'll prune out everything except for one shoot. We'll select the healthiest, vigorous, most vigorous, excuse me, and best branch that we have. Probably the longest one that's gonna reach, I said, you know, seven or eight feet. We'll, we'll probably take all that out and sell it as cuttings because that's just too high, I think, for a fig tree, uh, at least my own preferences. So uh, once we select the shoot that we want, we have to protect it during the winter time uh, because once we prune our trees really far back, the following year that we do that, the following winter that we do that, the trees are not ready for the winter because they're just not lignified enough. And so the, the temperatures in which they can, they can withstand or should withstand are just not true because of that level of lignification, that hardening of the branches. So we have to protect it and we will. Once we protect it by easily just taking this shoot, bending it all the way down to the ground, staking it to the ground, covering it with wood chips, every ounce every little piece of that tree, that branch. Then of course in the spring, we plop it back up, we stake it back into place, just the way you see it here. And we can top it or even leave it alone at that point. 
and it will start forming the scaffolds that we want. And it'll be a very vigorous, healthy, productive, amazing fig tree from that point. And I'll show you some examples here. Here's actually a tree called Hunt. We planted this one and did the same exact technique. Here's that main shoot that we've covered. We bent it over to the ground, covered it with wood chips. And now here is the scaffolds. We have three scaffolds. They're fruiting. They look great. I wish it did have more scaffolds, but the, look at the growth. Look how pristine that is, healthy. We actually topped it up here to get more branching, more fruit development this season. And the same things happened over here with some of these other trees. One main shoot here from the base, we staked it back into place. I actually spaced them only two feet apart, although I wouldn't recommend that. I think four or six feet is much better for most of you guys out there listening. But then the scaffolds form and we've got five to six different scaffolds on these trees. Because the tree is so vigorous and established now, we've got all these amazing scaffolds to work with. It's so healthy, they're so vigorous. You just cannot ask for a better start to a fig tree's life. Um, and so, yeah, take my advice. It just, it just takes a little bit more time, unfortunately. You know, a variety like this tree, let's say, is really healthy and vigorous as is. So I may not have to prune it again next season. Some of you guys might wanna do that anyway, because if I prune it again next season, this tree is really gonna take off and will be a big, beautiful tree that's productive going forward. So if you just wait, just be a little bit patient. I know that's hard for certain people, but you guys will be uh, seriously loving it. Please take my advice. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching this. Please, if you like this video, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for me, and check out my blog, figboss.com. I've got a really good planting guide over there. If you guys are interested in more information on planting fig trees, check it out. Take care.